What's up, Lord's Bowl? T4S Vegeta here. And I'm here to talk to you today. Um, basically just how to kind of save your troops and shit. Um, hold on. Uh, has some music going. But, um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Uh, I've been seeing a lot in this kingdom. And, like right now, one, two, three, yeah, three right there. So that's five leaders just taken. Um, if anything, this is what, this is what, uh, big guilds like that feed off of, is try to take your shit. Um, if you don't hide your shit and everything, just shelter. Easiest thing to do. And do it in intervals too. I mean, if you know you're going to be off for a while, um, and you already got like eight hours left on your shelter, re-shelter that shit. Because you'll never know. Um, and, hold on. Easy way to, if you got like a lot of troops, like, say, 600k, you ain't gonna be able to shelter them all. So, say, um, let's say, the, 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 this is another way you can hide your troops. Just, just do that, then it'll uh, hide them for eight hours. Er, don't do one so close, do one like 400 miles out. That way you get a long walk there and a long walk back. Alright, one sec. And don't worry, I'm making it as short as possible. Cancel. Oh no, I, I did a long way around out of that. Alright. But like I said, go about like 400 miles out. That's like, even though it's like eight hours for the rally to start, it'll be like an hour or two for the um, uh, march there, then on like an hour or two for the march back. So, I mean, that's a plenty of time. And, and that, and this is another way to um, say you got a bank or whatever. And they're level 25 castle and they're bubbled up like they always supposed to be. Well, you send your troop to say. Uh, uh. Let's say Moose here. See? You got a little bit of troops reinforcing them. All you gotta do is go down here, hit it, and they'll be protected as long as that bubbles up. Um. And you can't garrison or at least protect your leader, but you gotta beat people to that in your guild. But, um, or, I don't recommend this one. I've, I've had a friend, uh, a guild member tell me to do it. Uh, say, like 400 miles out, middle of nowhere. Um, go ahead, occupy, send your leader along. I don't recommend that. Because you got some dickhead who rounds around and just randomly sees a, tie, a camp just sitting out and they're just going to attack it. So, if anything, I don't recommend that one. You can do it, just don't do it. Uh, well, you can do it, I just don't recommend it. Alright. Um, let's see. Go ahead and do this real quick because I want to. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get this uh, Mega Maggot stuff so I can uh, do up all my gear. See if I see how I can do this here. Hopefully, I can get this in one hit. Uh, 
I'll attack a level uh, two or three. That way I can get a couple extra hits in. But yes, what I need. And if you don't know why I'm one uh, Mega Maggot Teeth, it's because of my grimy plate. I'm trying to get at least purple for right now. Because, um, oh, uh, easy to get. But yeah, that, that, that's my wall defense gear. Uh, as you can see, 51.3% boost. Everything else, um, see, army defense, 24%. Um, the reason why there's other stats in here is because I added a bunch of jewels, uh, 43.5%, uh, that's from jewels, and a couple of them's, uh, trap attack. But, I don't even have a monster hunting gear on, but I don't care. Yeah. Too quick of a walk for him. Okay. Uh, we'll compare the damage, I guess. There's just some. Oh, just for shit to do. It's White Castle's new 99 cent bacon jam slider. All beef with smoky cheddar and sweet and savory bacon jam. Damn. Cheddar and bacon -y. Good chunk on the first hit. And that's a bold move. It's gonna be more on a second hit anyway because um it's uh every each time you attack you get this little boost up here and it increases every time you do an attack or however many hunts in a row. So Oh right, yeah, more teeth. That's awesome. Um, alright, but, yeah, plenty of ways to keep your troops, if you're in the millions, um, you gotta figure ways out yourself on that one, uh, that's kind of hard to hide, um, but people who have, like, 600,000 troops, um, I know, uh, their infirmaries, they'll get them up. Uh, they get a bunch of infirmaries, and they'll, that'll hold troops for them. Um, that way it's hidden light, too. But, uh, like I said, shelter, uh, re-shelter, even uh, when you have to do something important. Um, and always do it before you go to bed, at least. And do your rally, do your ghost rallies when um, you're uh, going to bed. Or going somewhere to do everything to protect those troops and keep that leader. Once that leader's gone, all that boost is gone. Because not only your gear doesn't work, but all these stats here, that's high number, all that will be gone because of your leader's gone. So, I recommend sheltering that uh, leader as best as you can. Because if they can, if they can take that leader, that, they got you by the balls. And do not, I repeat, do not do a fucking ran, uh, ransom or bounty. You're wasting your gold. Um, let's see. Put research gear back on here. But yeah, you're wasting your gold if you do the um bounty and uh. Ransoms because then they'll keep coming back later, try to take because they know they can get it from you. Um, 
right now, Little Green, they haven't got his leader, but they've been attacking him, attacking him, attacking him, just trying to get his leader. And it, it's ridiculous in this kingdom. Well, the kingdom ain't that bad, but I've, I've heard of worse. I, I've been in worse. Um, K33. Uh, hold on. Uh, I keep forgetting what I had a of bab up here. Let me see, where is that? Yeah. Ethereal guy's awesome, by the way. Let oh, y'all watch this real quick, just for the fucking hell of it. And by the way, this is a good lineup for me. Um, been beating the fuck out of all gold lineups. Um, as you can, hold on, let's just see here too where I'm at. I mean, I've won a good bit of defenses. This guy, he tried a, quite a few times, but mostly defense. Uh, that one I lost to in battle, uh, trying to attack it. But he tried to get me back. That's funny. But like I said, do all the do all that shit uh, to try to get your heroes protected. Do that. Um. Nah, I don't recommend that. Because then you put your uh, heroes, uh, you put your teammates at risk too. Because then you'll get rallied and all that shit. So, um. There's multiple ways of hiding your troops. I probably, I'm just naming the basic ones, just making the video quick as possible. Um, I hope this is helpful. Um, I see it all the time, and it sucks when it happens. And I want to prevent it a little bit more. So, I hope you enjoy. Dislike, like, comment, whatever the fuck you want. Don't care. As long as you learn from this shit. And I'll see you next time.